Welcome to Tech TV brought to you by London Tech Week and Techcelerate. We're thrilled to announce that London Tech Week has partnered with Centrica, who will be sponsoring the innovation stream of events taking place across the city during London Tech Week. And we're pleased to have with us today Centrica's Group Chief Information Officer, Mike Young, who's here to discuss how Centrica is putting energy at the heart of a more connected world. Thank you for joining us. Great to be here. So how is the energy industry utilizing insights from big data? Well, in Centrica's case, uh, we have built up over a number of years some real capability within the business around data science and data analytics. We have, through our customer base, deployed some 600,000 hive hubs that allow people to control their home. Um, everything from uh, their power and their heating uh, through to sensors that uh, mark the security of their doors and their windows. We have some 35,000 boiler IQ modules that sit on people's boilers, allowing us to do proactive maintenance. Wonderful. And how big a role is Centrica playing in the formation of a connected home? It's playing a, a, a significant role. There is, uh, there is no doubt that there's a lot of competition in that space. But as we look to fulfill our obligations around energy and its services, as well as connected home, we're trying to tie the two together. Um, and we think in doing so, uh, we can provide uh, competitive products and services for our customers uh, and we can provide them with real-time insight on what that looks like day in, day out. Great. And, and tell us a bit more about Centrica Innovations and what does it aim to achieve? Centrica Innovations was set up fairly recently to allow us to look at companies that we may have an interest in that are um, emerging and playing into uh, technology and services uh, type products that may be useful to Centrica in its ambition over the next four to five years. So it, it has a, um, a radar type view of what is there, what there is out there in the, in the great wide world um, and what we might then tap into either through acquisition or through partnership. It is a dedicated resource looking at that landscape. Great, and, and how is technology, in your view, changing the customer experience? I like to think that um, we're doing a lot more digitally than perhaps we were two years ago. So the reality is that 50% of the workforce um, in 2020 are going to be millennials. And by uh, 2025, that's going to grow to 75%. That's um, an awfully big population that only know one way to interact, and that's in the digital environment. So I think digitally, uh, we're doing a lot of work uh, with our core systems, with our customer journeys, and we're adding uh, real niche services that allow a customer to become digitally fluent with Centrica and feel like they've got proper real-time engagement with the person that they may be speaking to in the, in the digital world. That's how we're trying to pursue that engagement. And looking at companies and large businesses, how is Centrica helping large businesses take a handle and control their energy use? Well, last year we made a fairly significant um, acquisition. It's a company called uh, Panoramic. Panoramic uh, provide large sensors that allow uh, businesses, uh, whether they be small, medium or large, um, to sensor array their energy use. Much like we use um, Hive in the home, Panoramic provides those sensors, uh, those sensors to, to the businesses at large. There's some uh, 40,000 sensors out there today, um, and those sensors are generating on a day-by-day -day basis 10 million data segments. Though that allows you to do a, 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 lot of, uh, a lot of analysis to the benefit of the customer. As an example of where we're also playing into um, large industry or small to medium and large industry, uh, we have a current project that's going on in, in Cornwall. Um, mm -hmm. That project is how we would harness in urban areas where there is um, in this particular case small to medium enterprises that may have access to wind or solar how they then may harness that energy um, and then provide that to rural communities without necessarily being on the grid. Um, it's a fantastic endeavour. We may end up using new technology that's out there today like blockchain, um, but for us um, it's an important flagstone around where we might go in the future. 
Thank you so much for joining us here today, Mike, and we look forward to seeing your presentation at London Tech Week.